Uh, my name is Ashley Joanna, and I am the photographer of Hidden Beers in Belgium. I am Brandon Kearney, and I'm the author of Hidden Beers in Belgium. What gave you the inspiration for this book? Um, <laughs> I guess for me personally, it's uh, I'm, a, I'm not from Belgium. I'm from Ireland, so coming to Belgium, um, uh, the, one of the ways to kind of explore this place that I lived was through beer and its beer culture. So I've been writing about beer in Belgium for more than 10 years now. And you know, one of the best ways to showcase like what Belgium's about is uh, its lesser known beers, its hidden beers, because they touch on so much about Belgium and its people and its culture and its folklore and its kind of engineering and science, scientific prowess. So I guess the book is a celebration of like Belgian beer culture, you know, the only country in the world recognized, you know, by UNESCO for its beer culture, but also a celebration of Belgium itself. And I guess it gave you both a chance to travel to some small places, some big, different places and explore. Yeah, exactly. Like um, we were able to travel to meet to villages that we would never think of otherwise and got to really know the people from there. And it was a really incredible experience. And yes, you, I saw that you would broken your hand at one point, and oh at another point you lost your hard drives and had to redo stuff. So, so <laughs> he knows everything. How does he know that? Yes, so How do you know beer that? Beer know everything. <laughs> beer know everything. No. There's plenty of challenges when you're creating a book. Lots of challenges. I did have to shoot like five, I had to do five shoots with a broken wrist, and I had to redo a few shoots because of a broken hard drive, yes. But we persevered, we got it all done, yeah, that's and everything was great. It took like three <laughs> years. Yeah, so yeah. I think we, it was two and a half years in total for production of the book, yeah. yeah. It's beautifully done, I, I've seen it. Uh, what would you say is your most obscure beer? That's, been, uh, that's a question uh, for you. In um, terms of people knowing it, whether it's a beer geek or... Uh, yeah, I think there, there's quite a few uh, beers from smaller breweries that people don't know, which I think is like obviously at the central, at the heart of the book. But one beer that people seem to be surprised at inclusion is uh, Triumph, which is a beer from uh, Bogaspi Dupont in Wallonia. And it's a beer from a, quite a well-known and highly respected brewery, but one that kind of people don't really know much about and it's got a really fascinating story. So that's probably one of the beers that's most interesting. And I guess each beer has a story, and that's what also you know, yeah. interests me in beer in Belgium. Each beer has a story, and through that story, you learn about a certain locality. Uh, you know, telling stories behind the beers, what connected you between the brewery and its location? What, what, what would you sum that up as the community? I think. Like we wanted to basically, we wanted to try to cover as much you know ground in Belgium as possible because different parts of Belgium are so different, um, and I guess talking to someone in their brewery in their village also gives you an idea about the identity of that place. Whether it's somewhere that's you know rural with like folk uh, stories and small festivals, or somewhere where a particular industry has a big hold on the community, uh, or where there are are parts of of the uh, the history of the place that are perhaps still have a hold on them like in the Liège Valley where there was quite a lot of um, uh, economic challenges and there were floods in 2021 so you know every story sort of grips on to the the I, I guess the the place as well as the beer and the brewery and the people that produced it. There are 24 breweries featured in the book, mm -hmm. 24 beers, two of the beers have disappeared. Well I think in every country in the world, uh, there's a it's a challenging time for breweries, but also uh, a lot of small businesses in beverage and food. Um, and I think uh, part of that brings to the fore stories of how people strive to keep alive the things that they're passionate about and the things that they love. Uh, so, yes, the, it, it's a difficult time, but I hope that the book can celebrate the people that are doing the things that you know we want to maintain uh, as part of our culture and heritage. Where can people get the book? In all good bookshops. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's online on Amazon, ball.com, yep. Belgian shops like Standard Book Handle. You can buy it from the publisher. You can buy it on like any, in, in the country that you're in, in the US, in Australia, in the Netherlands, in the UK. Go to your like Booktopia, bookshop.org. All the major online retailers have it. Um, and come to belgiansmack.com, get your free bonuses and enjoy the book wherever you are in the world. Uh, we're, having a, we're having an online launch party. 
uh, for those that want to come along absolutely welcome basically go to belgiansmack.com <laughs> uh, just put in your purchase order number for wherever you bought the book and come along and Q&A with the two of us we'll talk about the book we'll show you some stuff from the book and uh, yeah that would be great if you want to come along thank you so much for talking thank to you. the Marianne. thank you thank you Great.